A lot of you guys really liked the video on the Galaxy Book 2 360. So when this arrived, the Galaxy Book 2, we had to take a look at it because three reasons. First, this is a more affordable laptop starting at Rs. 66,000. Second, this brings the Intel Arc GPU for the very first time in India. And third, this just seems like a good all-round laptop. So let's start with the looks because I really like what Samsung is doing in terms of design with the whole Galaxy Book 2 series. The Galaxy Book 2 follows the same sleek and stylish design philosophy. I like how the lid is clean with a very minimal Samsung logo. I also like the aluminium build and the silver variant we have does look premium and also feels well built with some minor flex in the lid. As for the 180 degree hinge, it seems solid and I like that there's an indentation here to open the lid. Now the lid opens up with one hand but it's not as seamless as you'd like. This is also a very portable laptop, I mean the weight is only 1.6 kgs, the thickness is around 15 millimeters, and yeah this is just easy to carry around also because you get this lightweight 65 watt charger in the box. Anyway, on the inside, you have the same aluminium finish with a matte black backlit keyboard. There's a fingerprint scanner in the power button, which is pretty fast. The bottom has the same finish with these rubber feet, vents, and speakers. You get the ports on the sides. The left has two USB-C ports, a USB-A port, and HDMI. The right has the headphone mic combo, micro SD reader, a USB-A port, and Kensington lost slot. That's all. Yeah, there's no Thunderbolt 4 port. The display has narrow bezels, and these are the specs. Here's the Galaxy Book 2 uses a PLS panel, which is basically Samsung's own twist to IPS LCDs. Now, PLS displays are said to be 10% brighter and have better view angles when compared to IPS LCDs, so I'm fine with this. In fact, I actually quite like the display on the Galaxy Book 2. For starters, the first thing it gets right is the brightness. The official spec sheet says 300 nits, which sounds kind of okay, but I actually found the display to be fairly bright, especially for a matte display. The color accuracy is also pretty good, although Samsung hasn't revealed the data in terms of DCI-P3 or sRGB coverage. Anyway, the screen here does have HDR support, which you can turn on from the settings. And there are also different screen modes like auto, dynamic, standard, photo editing, and reading, and this should be handy. Another pretty good thing are the viewing angles here, and although the blacks aren't on the OLED levels, it's decent. Overall, this is a display you like, be it for work or for entertainment. Also, since we are on the topic of entertainment, there are dual bottom firing speakers here and these speakers are actually good. These speakers get loud and the sound quality is crisp too, even at max volumes. And there's also Dolby Atmos support with different sound profiles to choose from. Now let's talk about the specs. These are all the variants of the Galaxy Book 2 and you can pause the video and take a look if you want. Now we have the top end variant that has the 12th gen Intel Core i5-1240P chipset with 12 cores including 4 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores along with 16 threads and it can go up to 4.4 GHz. There's 8 GB LPDDR4 RAM and 512 GB Gen 3 SSD with an additional slot for the same. Now these are the SSD speeds from the laptop and this is fine. Honestly, I would have wanted 16 GB RAM here, but I think Samsung has sacrificed that to bring the Intel Arc GPU here. See, this laptop has the integrated Iris Sexy graphics, but this is the first laptop in India to come with the new dedicated Intel Arc GPU. It's the Arc 3 series GPU here, which is for thin and lightweight laptops. 350M to be more specific with 6 XE cores, 6 ray tracing units, max clock speed of 1150 MHz, 4GB VRAM, and 30 watt of TGP. There's also dynamic power share, which means the Arc GPU and the Iris Xe GPU will dynamically share power to offer better performance and higher battery life. Now, the Arc 350M isn't a GPU for intensive gaming, but it should handle casual games and it should bring better performance in photo editing apps or video editing apps. To give you an idea, it brings twice the power compared to Iris Xe and it also beats the NVIDIA's MX450 graphics. I'm Nvidia and the Puget Bench Photoshop and Premiere Pro benchmarks and the results are decent in the Premiere Pro test and good in the Photoshop test, so they should be able to handle these apps. We also played some casual games like Rainbow Six Siege at FHD resolution and very high settings. And the FPS was over 60 almost all the time, which is great for what is not exactly a gaming laptop. I also like that the laptop does not even heat up that much while gaming. We also played Apex Legends at HD resolution and low settings and the FPS was around again 60, which is good, although there were a few stutters here and there. See, this isn't a gaming laptop, that's pretty clear, but some eSports titles should be fine and the Arc GPU should be handy in a lot of apps. Apart from the GPU specific tasks, the usual day-to-day -day performance of this laptop seems pretty good so far. Here's 15 tabs of Chrome open with two 4K videos playing and a number of apps open in the background. Now you can see that the CPU usage is pretty much under control, so it should be able to handle more tasks. Overall, the performance seems good so far and the Windows 11 experience is also pretty good. There are all the Samsung ecosystem features we talked about in a previous Galaxy Book video and they're all here. This too comes with the Galaxy Book Experience app that shows you all the cool connected features between the Galaxy Book 2, a Galaxy phone and a Galaxy tablet. Moving on, this can also be a great work laptop because the keyboard is just amazing to type on. 
The layout is good and spacious even with a dedicated numpad. There are also quick shortcuts to block mic and camera and also to choose between performance profiles. As for the keyboard, I said amazing because I found the key travel to be really good here. Overall, the keyboard feels just satisfying to tap on, the fingers don't hurt even after a long time and the experience is just good. The trackpad is also quite big and has a smooth surface and it's just a responsive touchpad, no issues. The webcam is a usual 720p camera but there are cool Samsung Studio features which bring face effects, blood in the background and auto framing which adjusts the frame depending on the movement. This is a video from the front camera of the Galaxy Book 2 and the camera quality is kind of usual 720p but I think the dual mics do a pretty good job with the audio. Let us know what you think. The battery is a 54 watt hour battery with a 65 watt USB-C charger in the box that I already showed you. Now in our usage the battery life was around 6 hours on most occasions and as for the charging speed this took more than 2 hours to fully charge from 10%. To conclude things the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 starts at Rs 66,000 for the base variant and the variant we have with the Arc GPU costs 86,000 and there are a lot of offers. Rs 4,000 instant cashback on HDFC bank cards, no cost EMI offers, Galaxy Buds 2 at Rs 999 if you buy this laptop in July. Now I'm looking at the Galaxy Book 2 and this is what comes to my mind. Good work laptop. I say this because this has a good looking portable design and brings a very good typing experience, a good touchpad and the screen is also nice. Plus the performance seems good and as for the new Arc GPU, it seems like a good choice if your use case involves GPU intensive tasks. There's also all the Samsung connected features if you have a Samsung phone and a tablet or the Samsung earphones, getting this will create a proper ecosystem for you. Now I would have liked more RAM in the stop and variant and the battery life could have been better but I want to know what you guys think of the Galaxy Book 2 at this price. Comment down below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.